Hey there, Internets. Nelson here with a workaround tutorial for getting YouTube videos into your Webflow collections with automations or with uh, importing a CSV. All right. So the the current issue that's happening is that when you're doing this type of automation, uh, Webflow doesn't really embed your YouTube videos. You may have noticed when you've um, done something like this where the link will show up, but when you go to your collection page, it doesn't. And it's like, wait, why? I'll show you why. Uh, well, I'll explain why and uh, show you a workaround to get this done. All right, so here we go. All right, blank project. So here we go. Let me show you why this is happening. I'm gonna go to CMS, create a CMS, and we'll call it, we're gonna call this tutorial videos. And usually people would add a video link like this, save field, create collection, and there we go. Let's create a new tutorial. So we're doing this manually. Let me get a video. There we go. And there we go. Awesome. So what happens, uh, what is happening right here is that when I paste in the video URL and then click outside of the box, Webflow is taking that video URL, sending it to a service called embed.ly or embedly and asking embedly, is this a real video? Is this a real legit video URL? And embedly says, yes, it is. And then YouTube, or sorry, Webflow is like, cool, thanks for letting me know. Can I get all the embed code and the data that comes with this video? And Embedly's like, yeah, sure, here you go. And then Webflow adds that code and that data to your site. That's why it works. However, if you, let's, let's remove this one in, let's put in a new one. So if you automate this by putting in a URL, then, oh, okay, it shows up. Then usually Webflow doesn't send that signal to Embedly. So automations or inputting, uh, in, um, embedding a, S, a CSV, it's not gonna work. Webflow doesn't send that signal to Embedly, which means Embedly doesn't send the code back. And that's why you see your template pages with blank URLs, like it's not working. So the workaround for this to make everything automated is to add the YouTube embed code yourself and not using the video link or video link um, custom field. All right, so here's how to do it. I'm going to press remove, cancel. And instead of using a video URL, I'm going to use a plain text. All right, so plain text. Uh, real video URL and I'm going to delete that one and so with this plain text it's not sending a signal over to Embedly because it's not meant to the video field does not the plain text so let's redo this test one video URL let's go ahead and take one of them paste it I click outside, nothing happens because it's just plain text. That's fine. Press create and we're done setting up our collection. Now, uh, let's go to our collection template page. So we're right here. And uh, what we're gonna do is command or control E, type in embed and there we go. Now we need to put the YouTube code in here ourselves. So what we can do is go to any YouTube video, ugh, it's a weird photo of me. <laughs> Any YouTube video. And then um, we're going to share, embed, and take this code. So I took that code, I'm gonna paste it in here, and here's what we need to change. This right here, the source, we need to remove that. Okay, so remove all of that, okay? And then for the width and height, we're gonna do 100%, height 100%, and we're good. Save and close. And then for the embed right here, for the styles, we're gonna call it video-embed, 
and give this a, uh, a height of, I don't know, 800 pixels tall. I don't know, something, whatever you want, whatever works with your design. So nothing is supposed to show up here. This is fine. This is what we want. So next, we need to uh, make this actually come alive. And how I did that was I found this regex code on uh, an, on like Stack Overflow or something, and I made it work on the Pixel Geek community website. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it into the end body tag of my template. Let me remove this field. All right. So let me explain this code. All right. So line one, I'm just saying, hey, browser, I have some JavaScript. And it's going to start at line one and end at line six. Browser's like, cool, thanks for letting me know. And then I'm telling the browser, hey, can you create a temporary browser memory called URL? OK, and we're going to fill that temporary memory with uh, the plain text field of real video URL. All right. And then we have this thing called regex. I'm still uh, ah. I mean, it's the magical thing with JavaScript or computer programming that can take a, a bunch of characters out of a string of other characters yeah okay well keep keep following me so then we tell the computer hey do that magical thing because we need to find the U youtube your uh the youtube id so those last couple of characters that youtube always gives each youtube video we need that so that's what this regex is doing so find those last couple of characters that's the youtube video id save it into this browser memory and put it here and then we're going to save that into here you youtube id or yt id and then right here we're going to say hey browser find the embed component that we named video embed find the iframe within it and that part that we have src that we left blank now let's add in youtube.com slash embed slash and that youtube id so this makes the automation uh happen without the video field so if i click save publish wait for that and there we go and so if i want to do another one i can just go to my collection oops go to my collection new tutorial video call it test two let me pull in this video create and let me change to test two publish and we'll go to that page and there you go so this one is test two, this one's test one, and it works. All right. Um, if you got lost, don't worry. You can, uh, you can copy the code from the Clonable Project. I'll put the URL to the Clonable Project in the description below. Um, but hopefully this helps uh, get around it, um, uh, get around that issue with automation and importing uh, CSVs and the YouTube video is not showing up, but yeah, hopefully this helps. And as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.